Today is April 11th, 2013. This is a litter of 11 Labradoodles. They are second generation F1B. They were born on the 24th of March, 2013. Uh, they are six and a half weeks old now. They are all spoken for. At this point, as you can see through their activity level, it's a little bit challenging to get any additional uh, still shots to get them to sit still enough on the table for their um, photos. But I did want to at least give all the families that are anticipating the arrival of their puppies uh, here in the next couple of weeks a uh, quick shot via video so they can see how they're playing and interacting with each other. All right, and again, this is a litter. It was five, six, excuse me, six females, five um, males, and uh, they are from our beautiful F1 party, uh, party factored Labradoodle, Porky, or Porcupine was her full name. She looked like a porcupine or reminded me of one with the texture of her, the unique texture of her coat when she was uh, first born or first came home here. And, um, then we bred her, of course, to our handsome Brindle and, and White Party, a KC registered standard poodle, Jack. Uh, we do have a full pedigree on both of these parents. Um, sorry about that, I just wanted to get that cleaned up before somebody stepped in it. All right, and so we're gonna just quickly uh, introduce each one based on their uh, ID names that I gave them in their litter. I think a couple of them probably have been renamed, um, but I don't make a habit of calling them by their ID names. It just gives them a little bit more personal. But anyway, there is our one girl, Cece. She's actually going home with Evie. And uh, there are two Brindle Sable girls. They, uh, she is, excuse me, the one with the yellow collar. Okay, so there is Cece. Next to her, let's see, do you have a pink collar? I figured you did. This is Maylee. All right, she is one of our cream girls. There is Bennett right there. He's one of our tuxedo um, sable boys. And actually, I think he's got a little bit of brindle in him, in his coat. All right, and right behind him, this is Bolto. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get them individualized when they're hopping all over each other. All right, there's Bolto right there. And he is a sable party tuxedo. All right, and let's see, this one is Dalton. Dalton actually is going home to join one of our Labradoodles from about two or three years ago. Um, all right, so there is Dalton. And ah, those are my feet. That's the bad thing about warmer weather. I start wearing flip-flops and you guys start eating my toes. Nope, 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 nope. I have to start spraying my toes with bitter apple. All right, this is uh, Evie, and she's the one going home with her sister, um, Cece. She's a little bit lighter than her sister. All right, there is Pookie. Pookie's actually gonna be traveling with one of our standard poodles, um, also sired by Jack and born a week later after this litter. All right. And, um, hey. Oh, excuse me, guys. All right, now, here is, whoops, let's see, who do we got here? This is Foster, I believe. Yes, this is Foster. He's one of our cream boys. He's one of our smaller boys, almost a uh, spitting image of his sister, Lita, who is right here. There is Lita. <laughs> They're so cute. I really meant to get after their toenails the other, um, when I gave them their bath, and I didn't do it for lack of time. And I know I'm gonna pay the price here soon with scratches all over me, my legs, my arms, and everything, huh? Yep, they do get their nails clipped though as part of their grooming uh, and uh, final bath before they go home, so no worries there. But those little puppy teeth can be needle sharp, so you need to keep on top of that when they come home. Puppies play with their mouth. Yes, they do. That is Sheba right here. She's our girl with the orange collar, one of our um, cream girls right here. There is Sheba. Somebody's gotten a little too excited here. Okay, there's Sheba. All right, I believe that is, is that Foster or Lita? I can't tell the difference between them because they look so much alike. Yeah, that's Foster. He's a little bit smaller than his sister, actually. And there is Lita playing with the toy. And there's Miss Lita. Okay. And I believe this is Evie. All right. Now, where's Gilligan? Where is Gilligan? He's one of our Sable party boys as well. Oh, there he is, right behind me. There's Gilligan. Okay, there he is. 
There's Gilligan. Okay. <laughs> There's Cece. Yeah. All right. And there is Bennett. Oh, there's Foster. All right. There's Gilligan. Yeah, Ruff is right. There's Pookie now playing with the toy. And there's there's Livy, I think. I mean, not Livy. Excuse me, uh, Lita. Okay, now she's playing with her brother, Balto. <laughs> He's the biggest one in the litter. Bruiser. Yeah. Oh, boy, she's got you. She doesn't know you're bigger than he is. You or he, she is, does she? All right, there's Dalton. Not my feet, guys, okay? All right, there's Sheba. There's Bennett. I'm hoping I get everybody. There's Gilligan. There's Pookie. Pookie's trying to escape. Yep. You got a long trip to California, don't you? But at least you'll be traveling with your half brother. Yep. You won't be alone. Won't be alone. There's Dalton. There's Pookie. Oh, there's Foster. He is so cute. So cute. There's Miss Lita. Right there. Oh, I spilled warmer all over me. Yep. The lid was not on correctly, and that stuff is very expensive. I don't think I lost a lot, but anything is costly. Okay, there's Bennett. All right, there is uh, Evie. And Livy right now. I mean, excuse me, and her sister Cece right next to her. Got worked up a thirst, did you guys? Huh? They're eating really, really well. We have them on a combination of Blue Buffalo Large Breed Formula for Puppies and uh, Solid Gold Large Breed for Puppies. Okay. Both very, very good foods can only be found at your specialty pet stores or specialty feed stores, will not be found in your grocery store or your supermarts or anything like that. Generally, I recommend that any food that's sold there is probably not good for your dog. So, I am a believer in good nutrition for your dogs and uh, consumer wisdom in searching for the right food. But uh, just be very, very careful. And actually, one of the best resources I have found online is www.dogfoodadvisor.com. Go there and you'll see all of the foods, good and bad, listed, rated, and full ingredients given on each one. Um, it's just a great site and a great resource. Uh, because not all foods, regardless of whether they're good or what have you, are right for every dog. Every dog system, just like human beings, is different. Some have allergies that others don't. They can exist within the same litter. Even though they were born in the same litter, it doesn't mean they're all made up the same. See, otherwise we wouldn't even, we wouldn't, we'd all look alike, huh? Yeah. So as your puppy matures, you'll learn those things. Hopefully um, allergies will be minimal if at all. But uh, as I said, there's always an, a possibility, just like with people. And you just have to address them. Okay. So once again, our Labradoodle litter that was born on 2000, excuse me, <laughs> March 24th, 2013. This is Law Padoodle Kennel. Uh, you can find us on our website at www.lawpdoodle, kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L.com. We are located in Lost Creek, West Virginia. You can also reach us at 304-745-5878, um, or if you'd like to email us, lpdk10608 at gmail.com. I do believe we've got another litter of Labradoodles coming up here in the next week or so. Uh, we have not announced them on our website, but if you'd like to get on our list, put in a reservation for those puppies, um, please do get in touch with us. And we're excited, we're excited about some unique colors that uh, we might be having in that litter. It's kind of why we're just sitting back a little bit and waiting to see what happens. Um, and we're excited to share the surprises with everybody, as well as ourselves, when the puppies are born. Uh, mommy is going to be our beautiful party factor chocolate F1 Labradoodle Schmooky. Okay, we've already got her over here in the nursery to prepare for her puppies. So keep an eye on our website and check back with us soon and email us if you uh, would like additional information. Once again, thank you for viewing our puppies and may God bless you.